Hello, welcome back to the weekly vlog. Um, I haven't made one of these in a while and I don't think I've actually vlogged for this channel since getting ready for Dubai. Louie and I vlogged our trip to Dubai. We made two vlogs out there, but they'll be going up on our couples channel. So make sure that you're subscribed to that to check that out. But I'm excited to be back filming for this channel. I love you guys so much and I just, I love this channel and all the support and love that I get here. So thank you. Um, yeah, so what's going on? Well, the last week my mom was visiting. She just left this morning and it was so, so amazing to have her here. Um, I'm just so grateful because Louis hasn't been able to see his family um, in over a year now and we were actually saying, I think the plan is for my whole family, my mom, dad, and sister to come out for Christmas here, but we just don't know what's going on. Um, a lot of places are going back into second lockdowns and stuff, so I'm just grateful I got to spend some time with her. It was her birthday as well, so yeah, I know that it is such a privilege to be able to see family this year, especially, so very grateful for that. And also, um, another reason why I haven't been filming, because I did want to vlog with my mom, but I had a crazy skin reaction happen last week, and I don't know what it is. I So I got a facial at the end of my trip in Dubai, and I'm not sure if it's like, a purge that happens after a facial, which can happen sometimes, or if I got a reaction to one of the products in the facial, or if the facial just opened my pores up and then I got, got on a plane and wore a mask for 16 hours, it's like, or a combination of all the things. But my skin, as you can see, I don't know, if, yeah, there you go. Um, so it's healing up now, but it was like bad for a long time, just like very painful, um, breakouts all over and I have never had anything like this before. I mean, I get breakouts often, but it's usually like one or two, but this was just, I've just never had anything like this. And it really freaked me out. And I mean, I've just, the, my journey with my skin has been such a long journey anyway. And um, I talked about it in my video where I talked about how I don't wear makeup anymore, that it was just such a process for me to get comfortable not wearing makeup, having like one zit, let alone this happening. Um, and normally, a couple of years ago, I think I would have just like locked myself in a room and not, definitely not been on camera or anything, but I was with my roommates. I live with 16 people. So that was just such a huge challenge being downstairs and hanging out with my roommates. Um, and then I made some stories about it too. And just again, like the outpour of love has been so amazing. So thank you. And I know that this is something a lot of people struggle with. I mean, I got hundreds of messages of people saying that they've gone through similar things or they deal with this all the time. So I'm just sending so much love out to you. And um, I mean, yeah, this self-love is just a continuous journey, but, and I feel like there's, you know, we're given challenges for a reason to be able to overcome them. And I'm grateful that I'm able to even be on video right now. Like this is, this is a big deal for me. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, today's Monday and it is an absolutely beautiful day. It's 84 degrees right now, um, Fahrenheit, and it's just stunning. However, I haven't really worked the past week while my mom's been here, so I have a lot of work to catch up on. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go out and enjoy it, but it's all, I mean, it's, I feel like this is gonna be the last like summer day um, summer feeling day that we're gonna have for a long time. So maybe I'll go and try to jump in the ocean quickly or something, but first I'm gonna just try to get to work. We have come out to jump in the ocean because it's just too beautiful out. It's like 30 degrees Celsius right now. <sighs> so warm. So warm, although the water is not warm. Okay. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cold? So cold. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's refreshing. Yeah. Refreshing. <laughs> we did it. We did it. I 
after jumping in the ocean, I've been working with a couple of my roommates on something very exciting that's coming out very soon, so stay tuned. Um, but it is sunset, and we always go out to watch sunset, so time to do that. update we have a water leak coming from our bathroom down to our roommate's room and her ceiling basically split open and there's water coming out and yeah it's looking like they're gonna have to um maybe take out our whole bathtub or something i don't know but i think the next few days are gonna be pretty crazy um yeah, I just, I love having this space to work and just like get super productive and knowing that I might not have the space for the next few days, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, but just trying to plan my work and trying to like, you know, plan around this as usual. Um, but yeah, luckily <laughs> this video is sponsored by later.com because I'm about to use them. Um, I've told you guys about them many times. It is an incredible, incredible platform. It's actually the number one marketing platform for Instagram and I use it to schedule out my posts. So right now I'm about to schedule this whole week's posts and it means I don't have to worry about it for the next few days when everything's going crazy. I already have so many other things to do. So if I can just take Instagram for the week off, then it will just feel so, so good. So that's what I'm about to do now. So you can get your entire post ready, including the caption, and you can either schedule it to be posted or you can make it so that later we'll send you a notification so that you can still post it yourself, but you just get notified when it's time to do that and you post it whenever you want. And talking about what time to post, on later.com they have incredible analytics, including showing you when your audience is most online. And it's just such a good idea to plan your posts around knowing when people are online. I know for me, well, I used to travel all the time. Obviously I don't right now, but especially with traveling and changing time zones and stuff, I was always just really confusing for me to figure out what time of day to post so it's amazing that they tell you the best times to do so and they also tell you which of your hashtags have been the most successful and there's just like really really great analytics so if you have a business or if you want to be a content creator or if you are a content creator or like literally whatever <laughs> there's so many different people that this platform would be so so helpful for so if you want to check out later.com I have a code for you I will put it right here and in the description down below make sure you go check that out it's really changed the game for me and I think that you guys will love it. Tuesday. Um, sorry if it's kind of loud outside. I think the garbage truck is here, but I have a lot of work to do today. <laughs> but before I get to it, I'm super excited. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. So any of you that watched my birthday vlog, you saw that my friend surprised me um, with a card that said that they got me a Soul Cycle at home bike, um, which was so amazing of them. And I started crying, and it was like one of those things I hadn't really thought that I could have because they're quite expensive, they're $2,500. Um, so when my roommates, I guess they looked at a different bike which wasn't quite like the right one and that one is um, half the price and they raised about $700 which I like literally cannot believe my friends did that for me, I'm just blown, blown away. Um, but obviously it wasn't quite enough so I've been thinking for a while like that I still do want to get it and I'll just put the rest of the money in myself um, but it's quite a big purchase and obviously this year has been really tough and um, yeah like I don't have a ton of extra money right now to spend on that however 
Uh, I've been thinking about it every single day and before lockdown, before all this happened, I was going to Soul Cycle multiple times, well many times a week, but I was starting to do two classes a day and I loved it. Like I've never found an exercise that I love as much as this and it makes me so happy. And yes, it's a huge investment, but it's like one of the best things I can invest in, which is myself and my health. So I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm about to order it. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I, I thought I would film it because it's quite a big deal. Also, it literally could not get louder outside, so I'm so sorry. Any of you that live in a city will understand, like, this is just the realities of living in a city and trying to film videos. Okay, place your order. Your order is being processed. Oh my gosh, look! Congratulations, your purchase is confirmed. I so have to down to the Santa Monica Farmer's Market with our friend Robbie, who I'll introduce you to in a minute, but he is like a pro at the farmer's markets and finding all the best things in season. And I haven't been here since before COVID, because I used to come every Wednesday, but I'm super excited to check it out now. And I mean, farmer's markets are just the best way to get local, plastic-free, fresh, best tasting, just all the good things, um, food, fresh food. So I'm super excited. First stop is going to be Moonock for tomatoes okay. and then Murray for the greatest variety you'll see at any farm ever. Okay. I'm amazing. not exaggerating. <laughs> farmer's market and I'll show you a little haul of what I got but first one of our other roommates got this amazing sourdough bread and this is some leftover that she shared um, and I got this olive oil like locally grown and they had so many different kinds and I was talking to the guy and he recommended this one so I'm gonna try it with the bread Wow it smells so good Wow, this is so good. All right, here is my farmer's market haul. I got eucalyptus to put in the bathroom, kale, spring onion, cilantro, cucumbers, peppers, the olive oil. And here there's tomatoes and figs. This is the only plastic that I had to get. Um, dates, they're so, so good. But we did ask and they said that they're trying to find an alternative that works because dates have a lot of moisture to them. These are persimmons. If you've never tried a persimmon, it's unbelievable, it's like the sweetest fruit. These, I borrowed this bag from my friend, he reuses them. Um, but I just got a bunch of different potatoes and thought it would be good to like roast them all different colors and stuff. Zucchinis, and then this fruit, I honestly forgot what it's called, um, he just recommended it. But this one got a little bit squished, so I'm gonna try to eat it now. Um, but yeah, pretty good haul. I'm 
going to get a facial this morning. Um, I've talked to you guys about how I'm just struggling with whatever is going on with my skin and I looked it up and this I'm getting a hydrofacial which is apparently can be good for like clearing everything out so I'm gonna try that and see how it goes and I think I'm gonna take Louie's bike his electric bike which is so fun to ride today and I started making it and I was like I feel like I should film this because we're gonna see how it turns out so basically you guys saw I bought figs at the farmers market and I just said I wanted to make fig oatmeal this morning I've never made it before but I'm gonna try it and I looked up a recipe uh, for caramelized fig oatmeal so I've got coconut oil and maple syrup melting right now let me turn that down and then I'm gonna wash and cut these and throw them in the pan to caramelize I'm just really struggling with my skin because, you know, I've talked about in other videos, like I've really, I've done a lot of work to get to be comfortable not wearing makeup when I have my usual like one or two breakouts. But this, like I don't even know who I am right now when I look in the mirror, it doesn't look like me, it doesn't feel like me and I just, <laughs> my roommates are all outside right now having a photo shoot and I really want to take photos with them and I just like don't feel like myself, I don't. I'm struggling, like Louie wants to go on a date. I don't even know if it makes any sense, but I don't like want him to see me. <laughs> and it's hard because like I want to be an advocate for self love. I mean, I know it's good that I'm sharing the reality of it because I know that a lot of people feel this way too. But I wish I could just be like over it and be helping you guys overcome this as well. Obviously in the grand scheme of things, this is like nothing. And that's another thing, like I feel guilty even feeling anything but 100% gratitude at all times, especially this year, but honestly, always, but especially, obviously, right now, I know people are struggling in so many different ways, and, you know, this is, like, nothing <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, and it's also real, and I know, I know that a lot of you feel things like this, too. I think my card filled up. If you're, any of you are feeling this, too, I just want to send you so much love. Yeah, I think this is just... You know, this is pushing me to, to level up with my self-love and to really learn to love and accept myself. No matter what. <laughs> so, I'm grateful for that lesson. And I am, I mean, uh, like I said, like being on camera like this and being around my roommates like this is already such a huge step. So I'm grateful that this has taught me to, to do that at least. <laughs> this is today's update. I think it is healing though. I mean, I think a lot of these are going away. There's a few like angry ones still, but I think the facial helped. <sighs> okay, I've changed and I'm pushing myself way to my comfort zone to do this photo shoot. I'm grateful to you guys, honestly, because a big reason why I want to push myself to do stuff like this is because I want it would just kill me if someone commented on my videos that was like, oh yeah, I also don't do things because of my skin. I'm like, 
you know, what advice would I give to them? That's what I'm giving to myself, to just push myself and see that it's not as bad as I think. So that's what I'm doing. Yes. Such a 90s. Okay, let's do one without the volleyball, just, you know. Yeah, why uh, yeah. <laughs> are <laughs> we just Wait, just Justin! Always the youngest child. <laughs> <laughs> at Kimmy I think a few months ago and I've been seeing it on Instagram and I really wanted to come so finally we came out for a little late lunch date to check it out. just went thrifting. I actually brought a bunch of stuff to sell and I sold a lot of it. I got like $130 in store credit from all the clothes that I sold and I bought some things with that credit and I have more left over but I got this sweater. It's so cute. It's a little big. Let me see. Um, okay, sorry about the eucalyptus but anyway, yeah, the sweater's a little big. The, sweat, the sleeves are long but I'm hoping that it will shrink a little bit and then you will not believe this. Ready? I bought pants. <laughs> this is uh, like, I have not owned pants in I literally don't even know how many years. I actually had to get a few different sizes to try on because I had no idea what size I was, but um, yeah. I don't know how to film this. Uh, yeah, they're corduroys and they're like super comfy, but I can't believe it. This is a big day, a big day in my life. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna run out to watch Sunset in a second, but I have to show you guys, I got two vegan um, advent calendars. I ordered them both online. This one is called Moo Free, and it looks cute. It's like a classic one. And this one looks really legit. It's by Chalk Zero, and it opens, and yeah, here's all the vegan chocolates. So they're both really good options. And I would order this ASAP if you want an advent calendar so it can arrive on time. Time, yeah. Kinda. Okay, I got two things for Louie too when I was thrifting earlier. Have you tried this one on yet? No. So, they have Christmas sweaters. It fits perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. Yay. And then also I got him these shoes. I thought these were super cool and I looked at the brand and this is vegan leather and they were originally $32.50 but they were on sale so they're half off. Now, let's see if they fit. Moment of truth. Yes. Ooh. And... Yes! <gasps> they look so... Oh, Scout. <laughs> they look so good. They're... Are they comfortable? Uh, yeah. They are. Yay, great finds. I like them. <laughs> 